Good evening, this is Melissa with the StockSwish.com and welcome. Welcome to a video I'm doing tonight on Apple. Now, I didn't trade Apple in the last few days. That's not the reason I'm doing this video. I'm actually doing this video because I know people have been trading Apple in the last few days and I know people have been going long Apple and I know how people are about Apple and I just need to do this video update on the classification of Apple. And what made me decide to do this is because I did the trends class today. And so in the trends class, I actually review Apple. I go over the trend of Apple and what it does and what it's doing and what it's going to do. I do it in the class. And so I decided to do a video on this tonight. I'm sure that people are thinking that Apple is turning around, but it's not. Okay. Apple is still in the downtrend. Yes, Apple had a green days in the last two days. Yes, Apple did a buy setup in the last two days. Yes, Apple traded green and with a nice green bar over the 200 period moving average. Yes, Apple did a series of higher lows in pivots and higher highs in pivots. And I see all of that. The interesting thing is, however, and this is one thing that I teach in every class that I do. Just because something is making a higher high and a higher low in pivots or a lower high and a lower low in pivots does not mean that it's a change in trend. Okay? Apple is still in a downtrend. There's nothing that Apple did to make it not be in a downtrend even in the last few days. So if you day traded Apple long yesterday, you made money. If you got in at the right place and got out at the right place. When something's in a downtrend and it does a buy setup, that is not a good trade. A buy setup, pure technical analysis buy setup, a buy setup is taking a buy of a stock that's in an uptrend. Okay, that is the correct way to do a buy setup. You don't do a buy setup of a stock in a downtrend. It's not a good buy. So there was some kind of news and things that were out in Apple and it made an ice cream bar. Now, I want to point out that Apple's still in a downtrend. Apple is going to be in a downtrend until it does something that tells me it's in an uptrend. And this is what I go over in the class. But the reality is it is still in a downtrend. And in fact, what I saw today in the class, I actually saw it live. It, sometimes I am doing stuff and I'm trading and I'm in stuff or I'm seeing stuff and I'm talking and I'm teaching and, and, and the market just speaks to me and shows me stuff. And it just, I am so, I have such a good eye at seeing things. And I saw this as I was talking, I said, oh, and there it was. This rally in Apple is a, right now, the way that I'm seeing it, okay, until otherwise known. Could Apple change its trend and change its trend and be bullish? Yes. Is it doing that now? No. If it doesn't, I'll say so, but not right now. But what I'm seeing this, the way I'm seeing this is basically a trap, okay? This is a trap for longs in this Apple. This is what, this is how these things set up. This is how these things set up, and this is how these things set up, and then they kaboom and fall off a cliff because people get all excited and are buying in here, and it's not in an uptrend, and it's not a good buy, and it's not going anywhere but down as far as the way that I see it, till otherwise noted. Now, here's what I saw today that I was like, <gasps> there's a significant of this that I'm not going to go over right now in depth, okay, because I go over this in the class, but this rally up here today where it went and the way that it formed itself and the, 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 the way that it did it, okay, is even more important. I've got to be honest with you. This right here, this does not have to hold for Apple to stay in the downtrend, but I actually think that it's going to for various reasons, which I'm not going to go into here. This could not be more perfect. And the fact that I saw it today there's a reason I saw it. There is a reason I see stuff when I see it. This is beautiful. This is absolutely fantastic. And the reality is that people get all excited when these types of things happen. People are all fit to be tied now. They're just they're just believing so much in Apple. It got up on here. It got up and it actually went over five hundred dollars. And everybody's excited. Mm -mm. Apple's still in a downtrend. I'm seeing what this is for what it is. This is a rally into resistance. It is a rally into resistance. It is a specific area of resistance, by the way, as well. And I can't wait to see what this does after this. I'm not, I'm not in this long or short or anything, okay? 
I am studying this chart because it is an amazing example of the strategy that I teach. The bearish gap that happened on Apple was back here. I've talked about this in other webinars. And it's fallen off a cliff and broken all and gotten all to all the past targets, the first target, the second target, and so on. But my, my uh, view on Apple is that number one, it's in a downtrend, and number two, it's going to continue the downtrend and break again, and this is a trap for people to go long who think and dream and pray and hope and wish that this is going up back to the all-time highs. It very well might do that someday, but not in this way. This is not a good buy. This is not how it does it. This isn't it. This is not it, okay? So I can't wait to see what this does. Really, the I talked about this in the trend class today, and the one uh, student of mine in the class said, you know, he has never seen charts in the way he's seen charts since he's taken my classes, and that it's well worth the price of the money because he's never read charts the way that he's ever read charts till he met me. And again, this is stuff I teach in the class. But I, when I saw this today, where this went, I, I, this is so this is so special, and the amazing thing is that everything you need to know is in the in these charts. Everything you need to know. It's just that people don't know how to look at them. I could line up twenty five people in a row, and every single person would look at this differently, and I would look at it differently. And who would be right? Do you know what I'm saying? Who would be right? I am so good at seeing these things, and then they play out. I it's it's the market just speaks to me and shows me things just like I saw what it was doing today and I even went back and double triple checked it. I even went back last night when I saw the rally in Apple and I double triple checked it and then when I saw it today and I said no it's still in downtrend. I saw where it went today and I said oh, woo! I'm telling you the stuff is like gold, absolute gold when you know how to read it. it. The thing is that many people do not know how to read charts properly. They just don't. And the, and the thing is that people think they do, just like the student in the class today was saying. He was saying that he thought he knew how to read things. And I understand. I understand this. I totally get this. I get what people are saying when they make explanations for trades that they take or things that they do. I understand. But that's not the way I see it. You really do have to look at things in a certain way. And until you know what that is, you're not going to know. That's all that I can say. Until you know what that is, you're not going to know. Until you learn how to do it right, you're not going to know. But then once you know, you're always going to know. It's like, and then on top of that, you get better, which is what's been happening to me. I'm, it's just incredible the way these things are pointed out. So reviewed this chart today in the trends class. And I also go over the market in the trends class too. And happen to pull this up then today because I like to look at it live. And, you know, when I saw this, where it went into here, I'm just like so excited. I can't wait to see how this does. I mean, I, I have it all played out. I go over it all in the trend class to say everything I, I see it's going to do and until it does otherwise. And I have it in both directions, but I really, you know, have conviction in this breaking again. And this is a trap in here. And I see everything's doing. And this just couldn't be more beautiful. And if I wrote it up and drew it out and pictured it out and said what I wanted it to do, it couldn't look any better. So when I see something like that, I know it's setting up exactly the way it's supposed to. So this is Melissa with the stockswish.com. If you'd like more information, email me. The Gap class is this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, August 17th and 18th from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. If you'd like more information, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. This is an update on Apple. Apple is still in a downtrend, and we'll see what it does next. But my bias is that Apple will continue the downtrend, that this is a trap for people to go long thinking this is a recovery, and it's not. If it recovers, I will certainly say so. It is not right now. I know exactly what it has to do to recover. You have to do the class to learn it, but the reality is it is not recovered. It is a long way from recovering, and this is just a beautiful, beautiful chart. Beautiful chart. So have a great night, everyone. I will talk to you soon.